हेलो बच्चों मैं आज आप लोगों को बायोलॉजी का इंग्लिश मीडियम का असाइनमेंट करवाने वाली हूँ लेकिन उससे पहले आप लोगों से एक बात कहना चाहती हूँ अगले महीने भी मैं सारे सब्जेक्ट्स के इंग्लिश हिंदी में सारे असाइनमेंट्स आप लोगों के लिए लेकर आऊँगी तो उसके लिए आप लोग मेरे इस चैनल को ज़रूर सब्सक्राइब कर ले और बेल आइकन को दबा दे क्योंकि बेल आइकन दबाने से ही आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिलेगा और बच्चों आप लोग ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा करके मेरे ये वीडियोस को शेयर करें और अब तक के लिए आप लोगों ने जितना सपोर्ट किया है मुझे उसके लिए आप लोगों को बहुत सारा थैंक यू दिल से थैंक यू आप लोगों का प्रोजेक्ट बहुत अच्छे से सबमिट हो और आप लोगों को बहुत अच्छे मार्क्स मिले यही मुझे पूरी आशा है क्वेश्चन वन ड्रॉ अ नीट एंड क्लीन वेल लेबल्ड डायग्राम ऑफ टिपिकल एन जी ऑफ व्यूल शोइंग डिफरेंट पार्ट्स Now let's see, कैसे करेंगे इसे As you can see, this is a neat and clean diagram of angiospermic ovule. Now these are the following names we can discuss further. The diagram of a typical angiosperm ovule is as follows: An ovule consists of cunical, microphyll. integuments mucellus embryo sac hilum chalyza etc now cunicle it is the stack of ovule which connects ovule to the placenta funicel funicel is short and multicellular now hilum it is the point where funicle connects the main body of the ovule integuments these are the layers that surround the ovule there can be outer integument and inner integument the main function of integuments is to protect the inner tissues same video maine hindi medium ke liye bhi banaya hai aapko agar iska matlab samajhna to aap wo video dekh sakte hain main yahan pe sirf aapko answers ko clarify kar rahi hu us video ka link maine description mein de diya hai playlist mein hai हिंदी मीडियम के आप जाके देख सकते हैं माइक्रोफाइल द ओपनिंग विच इज प्रेजेंट एट द टॉप ऑफ इंटरगमेंट्स इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोफाइल द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोफाइल इज टू अलाउ द एंट्री ऑफ द पॉलिन ट्यूब इन टू द ऑव्यूल न्यूसेलस इंटरगमेंट सराउंड पेरेंकीमीटर्स टिश्यू विच कंस्टिट्यूट्स the main body of the ovule and is called nucellus the primary function of nucellus is to provide nutrition to the developing embryo cells the solid part of ovule present opposite to microphyll is called cells embryo sac it is present in the nucellus and it contains female gamete called egg what is double fertilization and triple fusion name the nuclei nuclei involved in triple fusion double fertilization double fertilization is the process in which two male gametes with the female gamete and the secondary nucleus respectively to form zygote and the endosperm in this process two male involved in the process of fertilization one of the male gamete fuses with the female gamete and from the zygote which developed in the seed the second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus of the central cell and forms the triploid primary endosperm nucleus which give rise to the endosperm the endosperm function in providing nourishment to the developing embryo now we can write it as first polar nuclei n plus second polar nuclei n equals to secondary nuclei 2n means it makes secondary nuclei 2n now triple fusion triple fusion is defined as the fusion involving two polar nuclei and a sperm nuclear that occurs in double fertilization is a seed plant giving rise to a triploid nucleus called the primary endosperm nucleus which later develops into the endosperm secondary nucleus 2n plus secondary male gamete n is equals to 
embryosac nucleus 3n. What is parturition? Which hormones are involved in induction of parturition? Write the function of each of the following testes and B ovary. Let's see what will be the answer. Parturation means childbirth. It is also known as labor. It is the mechanism of signaling the onset of labor or a procedure of delivering a child after the completion of pregnancy period. In human pregnancy period is 40 weeks after the first day of, of absence of menstruation cycle. The developed child is born with the release of cortisol during parturition process the cervix dilates dilates and relaxes along with cortisol oxytocin and estrogen hormones are released to begin the milk production and labor during parturition the uterus contracts to push the fetus towards the cervix and continues until the fetus comes down the birth canal in this process the head should be first to come out. Let it understand by seeing the diagram. Look at properly and see how it will occur. Testicle or testes. Testes serve as the site of spermatogenesis for the production of sperm. The endocrine cell present in the space between seminiferous tabulous are termed as interstitial cells. They serve to secrete endogen testosterone which is responsible for the development of male secondary sexual characters. Second ovary. Ovaries serve as the site of egg production by ogenesis and secrete female sex organs means hormones namely estrogen and prostestrone for development of female secondary sexual characteristics. What is spermatogenesis? Write the name of hormones involved in it. Describe this process with the help of diagram. Let's see what will be the answer. The process of formation of sperms is called, called spermatogenesis. It occurs in the male gonads testes. Testes are made up of many seminiferous tabulars lined by germinal, germinal epithelium. Cells of this layer divide to form spermatozoa in the following steps. First, multiplication phase. At maturity, the primordial germ cells divide by mitosis to produce a large number of spermatogenia. Type A spermatogenia is the stem cells which divide to form spermatogonia. Type B spermatogonia are the precursors of sperms. Growth phase. Type B spermatogonium activity goes to a primary spermatocyte it obtains nourishment from the nursing cell. Third, maturation phase. Each primary spermatocyte undergoes two maturation divisions. The first maturation division is reductional and forms two haploid daughter cells called secondary spermatocytes. Both secondary spermatocytes then undergo second maturation division to form four haploid spermatids. Spermiogenesis is the fourth point. It is the process of transformation of a spermatic to a spermatozoan. The spermatozoa are then known as sperms. The four spermatid becomes the head of the sperm, the Golgi apparatus, containing proteolytic enzyme becomes the acrosome cap. Here is the diagram and you can better understand by looking and practicing this diagram well. Last question. 
Name the chemical substance present in exine and in time of pollen grain. Draw a diagram of pollen grain and label fallen parts. First exine, second in time, third vegetative cell and fourth germinal cell. The pollen is made up of two layers. Exine which is made up of a most resistant organic chemical sporopollenin and in it the outer layer. In time, which is the inner layer is made up of cellulose and pectin. The wall encloses a large vegetative cell containing vegetative nucleus and a lenticular generative cell there function as follows. Exine. The outer thick exine layer is made up of sporopollenin which is resistant to physical and biological decomposition. It provides protection during hazardous journey of pollen from the anther to stigma. There are one or many pores on the pollen surface with R which are directly or indirectly associated with the germination. Intine. The intine is pectrocellulosic in nature. It is associated with the formation of the pollen tube. Vegetative cell. Vegetative cell is the large and contain abundant food reserve. It has a large vegetative nucleus. The, formation, the function of the vegetative cell is to provide the medium for the movement of male gametes inside the pollen tube. Generative cell. The generative cell cytoplasm is highly reduced but it contains the usual cell organelles it divides mitotically to produce two functional male gametes to bachcho yahan pe aapka biology ka english medium ka assignment complete hota hai i hope aap logon ko answer bahut acche lage honge aap log acche se apna assignment complete kijiyega all the best aap log playlist mein jaake baaki subject ke bhi dekh sakte ha acha lage to ek like kar dena aur isko अपने सारे फ्रेंड्स को शेयर करो ताकि वो भी आपके जैसे उनको भी मदद मिल सके और मिलते हैं हम अपने आगे आने वाले वीडियोस में उसके लिए आपको नोटिफिकेशन चाहिए ना तो आप सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए और बेल आइकन को दबा दीजिए चलो बाय